President Rouhani's official welcome in Paris today. No longer an outcast, but an honored guest. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Nice to see you again. The first visit to Europe by an Iranian head of state in 16 years, and less than two weeks since sanctions were lifted, already all sides are eager to reap the benefits. When he then went on to the Elysee Palace, there was some awkwardness behind the handshakes, like the fact President Hollande decided not to host a lunch for him, apparently because Tehran demanded that no wine was served. But overall, this was a day to play up the positives. There's huge interest in this visit by President Rouhani, and with good reason, it's a big moment. The first concrete evidence that Iran is being allowed back in from the cold, no longer a pariah, but a partner. The question is, will it really usher in a new era? President Hollande certainly thinks it will. Today, a new chapter in our relationship starts, he said. C'est donc un nouveau chapitre de nos relations qui s'ouvre aujourd'hui. I'm glad to be here, said President Rouhani. Adding it was time to turn a page and make up for years lost to sanctions. Ever since its Islamic revolution in 1979, Iran's relations with the West have been chilly, made worse by suspicions it was trying to develop nuclear weapons. But now there's a rush in Europe to try to revamp relations. So today the French and Iranian governments signed 20 separate deals for Airbus to sell Iran 118 planes and for Peugeot to re-enter the lucrative Iranian car market. But protesters in central Paris warned that business opportunities shouldn't blind the West to Iran's high execution rate, its support for President Assad in Syria and the influence of its hardline clerics. So is backing President Rouhani too much of a risk? One former French ambassador who knows him well says no. If he's able to open a little bit uh, the society, the, the, um, to, to, to be re-elected in uh, 2017, so we have a span of about, uh, about six years in front of us. And anyway, leaving Iran isolated could be the bigger risk.